Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem twenty-seven in chapter twenty-three. Chapter twenty-three is about electric potential. So there you can see we have a two identical point charge Q, right? The capital Q, twenty-five microcoulomb, coulomb, and they are placed a distance six centimeter apart. So D is given. And also, we need to know how much work would be required by an external force to move another point charge. We call it a test charge Q, right? The little Q at zero point one eight American coulomb, and uh, from a point midway between them to a point one centimeter. So the distance it moved is just a small d. Okay. Now we can see. In this case, the energy is conserved, so the initial potential energy, the final electric potential energy, right, and also the the work done by the external force. So we can see the difference from the electric potential energy comes from the work done by external force. Do you agree? Yes. So this one, right? So the Work done by external force equal to the final electric potential energy minus initial potential energy. Agree? Now we can we need to find the initial potential energy. As we learned in this chapter, the electric potential energy is Q times V, right? Q times V. So that means, uh, for the first time, this test charge is there. So the first. Uh, The electric potential energy from the left side charge, left side point, capital Q. This one we call it capital Q, right? Is just a, this test charge Q times the point charge Q and four pi epsilon naught times the distance. The distance is d over two because this test charge is at the middle, right? And similarly, we can get another term from the left side point charge. This term, agree? Yes. Now we move this test charge a distance d away, so now it becomes Q again, and then we can write its potential energy. First one from the right hand side point charge. So you can see the distance for this one is how much? It's the d over two minus d, right? Because this distance is d, and this distance is just d over two. So the capital D over two minus this little d is the distance. This part, right? So we write it as zero. And still another part. This a uh, uh, left point charge with this a uh, test charge electric potential comes from the test charge times the point charge divided by four pi epsilon naught. Distance is this what this part, right? D. Over two plus this little d, and then we use u two minus u one equal to the work done by external force. The final answer is zero. Thank you.